What's up everyone, this is the Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Wizard Run! In the last episode, we took on the village and defeated the giant spider. In this episode, we are going to head on over to the beach! And I turned down the music as well as the sound, just because it kind of got a little loud in the last episode. And... I'm kind of shocked that I didn't mention this earlier. You see the girl... Here, our protagonist, I completely forgot to say her name. Our protagonist's name is Alice the Apprentice. So, venturing out, Alice will hopefully be able to save her her master. Help if I could speak correctly. Eh, <laughs> that's stupid crap. So, there we go. First stage completed, and more gems, MORE GEMS! I'm gonna try not to say that as often. At least in this LP, because, oh boy, that, you guys are probably gonna find that really annoying. Ah! I was too busy looking at the other- I was too busy looking at the guys that I captured, I didn't see that crab jump! Ah, uh, you little piece of crap. Oh my god, they killed Alice! You! I had to put in a South Park reference, sorry. I just felt like making one. Alright, world three. Get rid of these stupid crabs. Yeah, big music. Yeah. I looked down for a second and I thought I was going to die again. Take that, pygmy. And miss the golf. There we go, got him. And I avoided the gems and more lives! Get the gems, get the gems. Yay! Wee! <laughs> she didn't even land. Oh, poor Alice. And get that. And yeah! I missed the goal, but at least I didn't die! Okay, can I maybe get them? Yay. Oh. Yay, I got the gems. Stage five. Wow, I'm only like three minutes into this, and I'm already at the fifth stage. And I'm just breezing through these. Except for that one fail. The oh, hey, there's a crab there. Let's kill you so you don't bring out more crabs. Yeah, in case you didn't notice, those guys in the shells can bri can summon crabs. Oh, jeez! Where did you come from? I swear, I do better in this game than what I'm portraying here. I'm not this bad at the game. Ugh. It's just that I'm not paying as much attention. But, dang, we're like three and a half minutes and we were already reached the boss. The Pygmy Boss! You are helping out the Hoppy King! You must be defeated! This guy, easiest boss ever. He'll just run across the side of the screen. Just fire your stars. Eventually he'll ping out more Pygmies. Easy enough, just simply take them out. And then keep firing on the Pygmy Boss. Pop him. Ah. Uh, I can hit him. And by charging that up. Boom! Big me boss down. And that wasn't very long at all. Um. Well, I guess that will just conclude it with this episode. Perhaps I should. Hmm. I want to explain a little bit more about Fun Orb. So yeah, I guess I'm. you guys get to hear a little bit more. What Fun Orb is... Hmm. Kind of the problem with this. I'm trying to think of a good way of thinking. Um... Basically what Fun Orb is, is just your generic online site. There are lots of other small game sites out there. Fun Orb is among them. 
Kind of the interesting with Fun Orb, though, is that it's created and managed by the gaming company Jagex Limited. What you may have heard of Jagex Limited before. If you haven't, well, perhaps you've heard of the very popular MMORPG called RuneScape. The same people who make RuneScape make Fun Orb. Now, they really focus more on RuneScape more than Fun Orb, especially in recent times since. Oh, uh, it's been a while since they've. since there's been any real done work done on Fun Orb. I'm hoping that changes soon because these are some really fun games here. But yes, Jagex actually manages the biggest free MMO out there. And actually, there's a game on Fun Orb in which it is based off of RuneScape. Um, I may or may not do something like that at a later time. Depends on how well this turns out, which considering I'm still really new to the LP thing, this probably won't really get noticed all that much, at least initially. But enough about Fun Orb! So, next time on Let's Play Wizard Run, we will explore World 3, the pirate ship. Until then...